Hey guys, welcome to Life Skills. I'm, you know, I'm actually pretty hungry right now. Would you be down for a feed? Yeah, always. I've spent way too much this week. I don't, I don't get how you manage all this money stuff so well. It's not tricky, I swear. Yeah, I don't know, but it's my problem though, don't, don't worry. <laughs> okay, let's get to it then, shall we? Hey guys, welcome to Life Skills. I'm Maddox. I'm Margaret. And today, we're gonna be talking about money. People always cringe when we talk about finding the balance, but that's really what money management comes down to. There's no one size fits all approach. We're all different. So you'd start small, right? Definitely. Even if it's picking out a savings goal or tracking your spending. A bank account's pretty important too, right? Yes, but don't rush into one though. Look around for what best suits you. A low fee or even better no fee account is best. It can all be broken down into four main areas. Taxes, superannuation, budget, and loans. Taxes, I don't really know that much about though. Wait, I remember learning about this in year 10. It's the money that people in businesses pay the government. How come the government gets it? The government provides us with all of these services, stuff that benefits all of us, like Medicare, hospitals, and public transport. Actually, I thought that stuff just came out of nowhere. Nope, that's us. It's the money the employer gives to the Australian Taxation Office, and the amount you're taxed depends on how much you earn. It links up with the end of financial year, right? Yeah. After June 30, log on to MyGov and complete your tax return. Just be sure that your MyGov account is linked with the ATO first. Ah, I get you. Now, what about superannuation? That's money that your employer pays in addition to your wages, right? Yep. Helping us save for retirement. Honestly, I'd probably spend it otherwise, so it makes sense. Where's it kept? It's looked after by super funds. These guys may charge fees, provide different types of insurance, and invest your money for you. What do you mean invest? They do different things with your money. I know a lot of my mates have joined super funds that only invest ethically. So you've got to shop around. Yep. Compare their performance and fees. Some charge heaps and some don't but be sure to use that one account. This will save you heaps of money. Speaking of saving money, budgeting has been the one thing that has helped me out the most. Like forcing myself to know exactly where my money was coming from and going, that's key. Yeah, well, there's that one time where I blew my whole budget on Uber Eats. <laughs> exactly. I use a budgeting app, which is linked up to my bank app as well, which is super handy and I get a notification every time there's an upcoming bill or deduction. Oh yeah, my cousin does that. I think she splits her expenses into four areas. Everyday expenses, an emergency fund, things she wants, and savings. Yeah, I definitely prioritize my everyday expenses and my emergency fund. You'll thank yourself if something comes up. Rent would be a big part of your budget too, right? Yes, rent is a big part. Ugh, a necessary evil. <laughs> There's a few really important rules to go by with rent. Don't spend more than a third of your income on it. Make sure that you have an automatic transaction set up on payday. This will give you massive peace of mind. Try not to use your rent money for anything other than rent. Make sure that you set enough money aside each week for other related bills, such as electricity or gas. And finally, only move in with people that you trust to pay their fair share of rent and bills. On time. <laughs> It can be really tricky if someone that you know asks you for money, especially if they're close to you. But a good way of looking at it is, in order to help somebody else in the future, you have to help yourself first. Yeah, same goes with taking a loan out for yourself. It may not feel super relevant right now, but if you don't pay back your loans properly, then it'll be harder to get bigger loans in the future. My mom reckons three things. Stay away from quick cash games. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Be really cautious around buy now, pay later services. And if you're getting a loan, approach with caution and look for the lowest interest. I think that about sums it up. What were the main things? Taxes are really important in a safe and happy society. And super is all about thinking for the future you. Budgeting can help us manage our money and loans can help us afford things that we might not otherwise be able to pay for, but they are highly risky, especially at our age. It's all actually pretty manageable. <laughs> I told you so. Now, are we thinking sushi or maccas? Sushi. <laughs> and let's split it. <laughs>